guys to another welcome guys to another episode of EU4 where we well where we are the Moroccoians and we're trying to invade all of Africa. But strangely enough, for some reason, uh, all of Africa is already conquered by this nation called Austria Hungary, and it's apparently conquered by uh, Germany. So this is a very weird save right now. And apparently the Ottoman Empire is back and they're apparently being chewed up by everyone. Wonder what they did. <laughs> okay guys. Anyways, we are having major difficulties right now because we are, well, right now, these guys aren't giving us military access. I'm pretty sure Sweden's not giving us military access because they hate us. Am I correct? Yep, they hate us. And it's really quite stinking. You guys won't give us military access because you guys definitely hate us. Yeah, but anyways, we're having major difficulties right now because our troops are just basically not surviving because of nutrition reasons. And we can't really fight this right now because we're basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm basically going to have to retreat to where America is because our troops are not getting the amount of supplies they need to survive. And we're basically just killing our soldiers if we keep them here. So we're just going to try to wartime election. Fascists are winning even more. Great. Great. I can't. And in last episode, I think I kind of did a secret rule that I believe I'm going to become a fascist nation. One thing I usually never do in almost any of my campaigns is become a fascist nation. And for some reason, this time around, I feel that I'm going to have to become a fascist nation if I want to survive and if I want to do my final plans of victory. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty been weighing heavily on my mind. It's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely kind of like going through my mind like, woo, you're going to become a fascist. That's been so bad for you for that the past. Woo, this is so bad. Okay, cancel formations, moralism. Okay. Let's see, we're going to have to get 100% war score. Does that mean I can't get what I want? Uh, probably can't get that. Okay, I could probably get this. But I can't get the rest of that. Okay. So yeah, America added their own war goal. That's kind of nice. So then America's going to fight this. Yay! But yeah, this is going to be a really, really, really tough thing. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, We got our troops right here. Yeah, we're going to have to bring our actually properly made troops over there. Because, as I said before, this is really just massive amounts of tanks. They aren't really, like, properly trained soldiers. So... Yeah, we need to rectify that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the new tanks to the new divisions and then slowly combine them. Although they can't exactly do stuff. Okay, and by the way, how are we doing in militaristic production? Did you guys ever get what I want you to do? No, you didn't. Why would I be shocked that you guys didn't? Okay, can I please... Uh, okay, fascist. I need you guys to win. Okay, right now you got 28% of the votes. We need you guys. What would help the fascist? This would probably help the fascist, actually, now that I think about it. Having them being allowed to join... Non this would also help the socialists, too, but... That's also going to help the fascists, which is what we need. Okay, education policy. Keep educating everyone we can. We are definitely an educational nation. Okay, and it seems like we have most of the Netherlandian troops crushed by the Spanish. Wow. Yeah, the Spanish basically crushed through almost all the Netherlandian troops. There are a couple of Netherlandian troops, but America can easily deal with it. And we're about to have our major troops actually join the real fight. So this is going to be really awesome. Okay. Uh, full involvement, pro-genderism. Just keep on encouraging what we need to encourage. 1920. See, I don't get this. The voting ideology means says 27% of them believe in the conservative way. How did they, like... Ah, I don't know. I really don't honestly know how they won. Okay, moralism. Okay, let's see. They're almost there. They're almost there. Yes! Come on, man. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay, so let's see. This army right here, I'm gonna go send right here. This should be a pretty easily won battle because I have not only bigger men, but also a really balanced army. Yeah, as you guys can see, with a really good men and really balanced army, these guys are like Swiss cheese on a stick. Capitalism, capitalism. Wow, they didn't even survive. Okay, uh, we need... How many troops are here? Seven? So we need about... 
8. 8. Let's just divide up these guys. You guys delete. Okay. You guys give me about 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of these guys. You guys go over here, combine with those guys. Wait, that's 7. Need one more. Whoa, bam. Oh, whoops. Not that, not that one. No, that, not that one. Not that one. Oh, let's get, okay, get two. All right, we have two then. Two of these guys go over here. You guys combine with this unit. This makes a really powerful unit right here. You guys go help steamroll this unit right over there. Boom. And then you guys just keep on steamrolling everything. <laughs> All right, I think it's state capitalism we are going to be advocating for. We are losing a lot of men right now. The federal, man, these guys just keep winning. Okay, just keep, we're holding, this is the yearly elections of everything. My goodness. Ah, uh, okay. Keep dying, keep dying, keep dying. Okay, move, destroy the final little bit of their empire and their capital. Outrageous! Okay. And, yeah. America's gonna go in, destroy that unit. <laughs> Okay, and let's see, have they done any kind of movements I have to actually care about? Uh, they did do a little bit of moving in right here, I probably have to care just a little bit about this over there. So we're gonna go send some soldiers over there. And this is probably gonna lose, I'm, I have no doubt, because I don't really care about these states, but... Let's see, you guys are gonna win. You guys are gonna, you guys aren't really fighting. Uh, you guys definitely gonna win. Holy moly though. You guys are definitely in some type of clear revolt. Let's start dealing with all these and start helping you guys out. Uh, you guys go kill off all these guys. Wow, I don't know why you guys are having so many reboots. That is way too many. Divine state capitalism. I don't really care. Just get these guys. You guys are going to 61 versus 6. This should not be a really big competition. Oh my goodness. This should not be anywhere near a good battle. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a slaughter. This is such a slaughter. Okay, now we're going to conquer the capital. Okay. And now back into our own place. We're also going to make a lot of engineers. Because one thing I do forget about a lot is to build engineers. And engineers are actually pretty important in this game. I just forget about it a lot. Because they're the only way you can actually see two provinces fast. So it's very important that you have them in your empire. Just had a major economy brush. Or... Okay, why is everything closing down? Open everything back up. Seriously? Yeah. Give radical parties in power. What does the radical party want? Full citizenship. Why do you guys want full citizenship? What is so important about full citizenship? Anarchy liberals. It looks like the a group of radicals who have taken the liberal... Ah. Uh, I'm trying to get these guys out of power. Ah, oh, man. With both these guys, 25, 28. They should be winning. The conservatives even... Uh, the conservatives should be winning. That's all I'm going to say. The conservatives should be winning right about now. Okay, state capitalism. Just keep going with that. We have to keep going with this idea that we have. Okay. America is also helping us out right now, which is really sweet. Uh, educational stuff is almost good. Let's just keep going down. Get management factories to do. All right. Let's see. We're almost there. We're almost there. Good. Military leader died. Okay, move on to the over here. Yes, I think we got... I think we... Let's see, how much war score do we have? We have a pretty good amount. I don't really care about all of this. I just care about this. Because this is the most... If we can do this, and we basically cut these guys off from being a good power, and then we get what we want. I think we have to occupy all this land, and then we're probably going to have to occupy some land in the Philippines. So, uh, let's start preparing for that. Uh, you guys get to come back to the mainland because you guys stunk so badly. Uh, and we're just basically going to divide you guys up again amongst our good veteran soldiers. And then go send you guys back out. Okay, back over here on the mainland though. There is an army over here. I do know we have an army. Okay. Uh, we do have a couple of Ottoman troops. Looks like the Ukrainians are basically taking the head forth into this. Uh, you guys are being lazy. Okay, but we could probably move in just a little bit. You guys basically just need cannons and artillery. So are we building our tanks? No, we're not building our tanks right now. So I can't really get much tanks in Africa. 
But let's just try getting some more soldiers in Africa. Oh man, this stupid tank situation is really annoying. <sighs> okay, come on, get these guys out of power. Get these guys out of power already. They aren't that good at people. Now please get these guys out of power, man. Oh my goodness, please get these guys out of power. Please get these guys out of power. Oh my goodness. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's see. What do the what do the NSFE? They pros genderism. Alright, good. Pro military, pro military 30%. Just keep advocating for that. And we're conquering more and more land. Let's just go to Unshent. Unshet. Alright, let's just conquer all this. Alright. Oh, okay, now Germany's starting to become an annoyance. That's... Oh, wow. Okay, no, Germany, you guys don't get to do that, so... Let's see. Let's see, like... Occitania, I know I'll never get you guys out of Sphere, so let's just keep working on you guys. Yeah, 4.9. These guys should be a part of my Sphere. They're kind of... They've kind of been in my Sphere for, like, years on years on years on years on years on years on end. Free trade basically won, and what does everyone else want? Protectionism. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that. We do not want free trade, we want protectionism. We definitely are a protectionism nation. Okay, but we have to quickly move in right here. Okay, and then like, once my troops arrive, alright, we can send... We can send this much of an army to go down here and go... and go meet the new troops, combine with the new troops to make a new army. Oh, uh, the Federalist Great Party Conservative. Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, okay. We got back control of our economy, which means we can now build in other countries, which means now we don't have to deal with the, uh, now we don't need to have, like, anyone else in power, which is good. Because now, tanks should start building again, which means we should be able to start doing a lot more things, and a lot more stuff is about to start happening. Okay? This is all good. Okay. Let me put all my soldiers in one place. Wait, that's actually a bad idea. Move back all the soldiers. Let's see, what army are you guys? Yeah, you guys move back for one second. Because I'm going to have to balance all these guys, so... Let's see. All you guys get into one army. Uh, you guys already have... Some of you guys already have some tanks, which isn't exactly what I have in mind. You guys deplete. You guys get destroyed. Boop, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let's see. So you guys basically need everyone in this army, which I just realized they're the exact. Oh man, we must not have had much that much tanks left. Ooh, but we do have really bad militiamen still in our army. What the heck? Yeah, let's delete the militiamen. Like we don't, ew, we don't, we don't associate ourselves with these kind of people. Okay, there we go. Wow. I did not know we still had militiamen, and I'm going to break off like four of these guys to be to be going with this unit because we're just going to combine this unit to one by gigantic unit with a lot of engineers and a lot of stuff. This should be a good unit to go siege down everything. Conservatives, yes. Okay, that's so good. Dang, that's so good. That now that we have these guys underneath our control, we should be able to start building tanks again, or at least our tank production should start again. Uh, we do, we are building regular soldiers. Hmm. Maybe it's gonna have to be a, let me make sure that they aren't closed down. Allow foreign investments? No. Well, they won't allow it. You guys still allow foreign investments. How's your tank factory? You guys didn't delete your tank factory, did you? Shoot, this is the one thing that I was worried about, though, is the fact they could have deleted their tank factory. Okay, what about you guys? Bulgaria, you guys didn't delete your tank factory, right? I built one tank factory for you guys. Um, No, they still have it. Good. Okay, so they still have their tank factory. I just have to hope they're still in my sphere of influence. Yes, they are. So, yeah, we should be able to start building tanks here very, very soon. Very soon. You guys can move in just a little bit. You guys can move in just a little bit. And Sicily is even attacking. Oh gosh. Okay, and we got what we needed as our new army. Okay. Combine all these guys into one. And let's get going. Get all you guys on the ships. Get you guys to 
I guess we're gonna start right here. Let's go. And over here, back over here in this land, we're slowly, agonizingly conquering everything. Oh man, this is slow. This is very, very slow. When you have five forts everywhere, this is like insanely slow. Cigarette factories are now really profitable, profitable in our country. All right, and let's see. Let's get this one right now in Kensian Economics. Yeah. Oh man, come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. I know, this is like, even with all four of us, it's taking us a long time to, to like conquer all this. Let's see. You guys. All right. We don't need all of what you guys are saying. Okay, I just need this much. If you guys give me this much, we'll be fine. Okay? But if you guys don't, then I might have to kill you guys even more. Okay, you guys move down. Let's go destroy this unit right there. We're going to have to fight a little bit harder. And oh my goodness, they have lots of rebels. Okay, just, just go right there, go right there, go right there. Go right there, 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 go right there. Okay? Make sure you have control of the capital. That way, just in case if I forget about them, we have control of the capital and there's nothing those other guys can do. Because as long as we control the capital, you can control all the other lands, but as long as you don't control the capital, we win. <laughs> Such a weird system that, that the people devise, but it so works. Alright, you guys go over here because I think you guys are supposed to be... <gasps> oh my goodness, they're my dreadnoughts. There's my dreadnoughts. Oh my goodness. Okay, all you guys go over here. Keep meeting up over there. Is there any other troops that are just stuck? I think you guys are stuck too. You guys go over there and... <laughs> I have dreadnoughts now. Yes. 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 <sighs> okay. Uh, most of my troops are actually now on my main continent though right now. Uh, how are you guys going to... Netherlands dismantle the Empire. Yes. Okay. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, okay, okay. So now we get not what I wanted again. Well, at least uh, I guess I guess it somewhat looks all right. I I oh. uh, at least this is now a full province. At least that's a good thing about it. But still, wow. Okay, so now that we have all this done, yeah, you guys are just about to go attack. You're like. <gasps> We're about to go attack! Oh, Okay, seems like all these guys are stuck right now. Let's build another... Let's build one other, um... Artillery... Dang, I hate this. Okay, let's get all you guys up to what we need to. Open all the factories that are dealing with... Okay, you guys don't really have enough to support you guys. I can see that. You guys don't really have enough, you guys don't really have enough. Alright, let's just go down through all of our factories, making sure, combing through everything that we don't need. Uh, we could probably delete this. Okay, we comb through everything. Oh wait, there's still one thing we missed, a fishing cannery, eh? I don't feel enough to go do anything about it. <laughs> okay, and apparently, Albania needs our help. Who are they being attacked by? Yugoslavia. Hmm, ally with Ukraine. Let's go, Yugoslavia. Uh, Liberation of Montenegro. What? Nah. Sorry, guys. You guys are just not in an important enough sphere anymore. Besides, you guys aren't even in my sphere. You guys should ask Germany, your big buddies, to go help. I mean, they would help you. Okay. Alright, over here, though, what we're going to do is ban the embassy of the... Uh... Wait. Expel advisors. Let's remove all influence. Let's do it to Germany. Expel all the influence that they have over here in my province. And let's see, did my plan work? At least work into the way I wanted to. War's over, long live, yay! Uh, we will take all that we can. Yes. And since we're the only power in this war, well, besides for apparently Ukraine, we should be able to take everything. We should be able to take everything. Oh my goodness, Belgium's been made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I remember we fought so hard for that province to be free, but now it's... <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so how is Indonesia being divided up? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna take all this. I already... I already know. We're gonna take every single bit of it because we're like... Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, it's also good to see Belgium back in this game. Oh my goodness. And these troops are glitching back into my province. Okay, long live Germany! I don't know how you guys did it, but just come back into my land. There we go, yes! Oh my goodness. And now that's a fully... We will acquire control with that colony. We will acquire control. The colony will acquire control. We will acquire control. We will acquire control. Yes, just take everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, are we done? Is that it? Is Do we officially have it all? Oh, but we don't have it all, but like... Oh my goodness. I, I don't think anyone else is going to take any of this because like they have no one else is near them. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a good first this was a good first step in our final episodes of how we're gonna end the series. Next stop is is if I plan this correctly, Netherlands is gonna be dropping out very soon. Who's gonna be rising up to replace them as great powers? Uh hmm. I didn't expect any of these two to actually oh wow. A lot of these people are starting to become greater. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe we have a little kink in our plan, and we're going to have to think a little bit more logically of how we're going to do this. But I believe it could still work, because honestly, what we have to do is just keep destroying the nations until we finally get to the one we need. So, but I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.